Oh, cool. All right. Hi, I'm Katie Butler. I'm an educator at Bellis Academy and a stylist at the Factory Salon in San Diego. And I'm here interviewing my student, Rachel Albert, who won the What's Next Awards student portion of the competition. Hi, guys. How are you? All right, oops, so. those are my questions. <laughs> we just jumped into it. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> All right, so what made you enter the What's Next Awards competition? Well, you guys set it up really easy for us. So our educators basically said, come up with an idea, a mood board, have a model, and then we'll pick a few of our favorites, and then we'll help you guys enter with a photographer. And with the Twisted collection, I had the perfect model. It was my friend Barbie, who already has like these beautiful curls. And I just wanted to use the products and just do her hair as naturally as possible. So it was my model mixed with the Twisted. It was just like a perfect kind of like collaboration. And then you guys obviously helping me along the way. We do. It's <laughs> <laughs> all of them. <laughs> oh, so where did you find your inspiration for your photo and style? Well, for the final photo, um, it's kind of weird actually. I had like huge creative block, like I couldn't think of what I wanted to do, so I kind of sat in my car one night, and I was like, okay, because they asked us like a week before they told us, it was like free, bohemian free spirit for the students, and I was just like, okay. Immediately I thought of like braids and Coachella, I'm like, I don't know how to braid, I can do a three stand braid, that's it, I have no idea, I'm like, what else do I see at like festivals and concerts that's cool with like texture, I'm like, dreads. I could totally do some dreads. I used to do them when I was a kid and I was super into corn. <laughs> like, so like, I'm like, you can totally do some faux dreads that you could easily brush out. But I was listening to like this, it's a band called Mono Lord and then like Black Sabbath and stuff. And I'm like, dude, like free spirit. I could totally make this into a character. Like I'm imagining like a witchy like woman in the woods, kind of like Salem, kind of creepy. I really like creepy stuff. So. I messed around with dreads a little bit and different products, and I decided just to like make a crown out of the dreads because like how badass is that? So and it looked <laughs> yeah. badass. And it was really cool. It literally came together the day of. It was not working for me. I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna have to think of something completely different. But actually, some of the other contestants really helped me, and like they gave me some ideas, um, especially the other student finalists, like. Everyone was super rad. Like everyone was so sweet, and they helped me out a little bit. And all their little tips and tricks together, I kind of like pulled it together. Yeah, that's super awesome. And it didn't hurt that your model was beautiful, kind of creepy looking, and she had red hair. Yeah, we did the makeup, so everyone's like, Sebastian, keep the makeup understated, and so you just see the hair. I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I kind of want to <laughs> make her look creepy. Like that's what I saw in my vision. She's this creepy like witch goddess, you know? So. The makeup artist was super rad. I just told her, I'm like, just do what you do. Like, I kind of didn't even give her much instruction. I'm like, I just do your thing. And it worked out. So, I'm like, yeah. I'll let you do your thing. Do your thing. I don't know anything about makeup, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. So <laughs> it worked. All right. So why is competing important as a student? Well, that was, like, the biggest, like, that was the most scary thing I've done in my life. <laughs> so... It really took me out of my comfort zone and it really gives you a platform to use your imagination like to the extreme like I don't think I would ever have thought to do that just here in the salon just messing around it's like you really need to push the boundaries because you're gonna be judged on it and it's gonna be seen and you're getting all this free photography and everything for it it's just the perfect way to cultivate all of your ideas together so that was rad all right, so what advice would you give to other students looking to enter competitions? Talk to your educators and your mentors about it. Um, really come together with a good idea, like a solid idea, because I think my idea didn't really come together until last minute. I think I would, ha would have had way less anxiety about it, but um, totally do it. Go for it. Just enter. Get Try to find a photographer that's also trying to make it, you know, and be like, hey, we'll trade services or whatever, and it'll do good for both of you guys. Like, find a model that's trying to make it, find a photographer that's trying to make it, and then all of you guys can do it together. And even if you don't make it into the competition, you have cool photos. So. That's exactly how I look at it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I place, I place. If not, oh, my model is cute and I get cool photos. Yeah, and that's exactly how I felt too. 
That's awesome. Cool. Okay, so are you planning on entering any other competitions? Yeah, for sure. Um, I want to kind of like get the basics down more first. I'm assisting right now, so I'm taking models at my salon. Um, I know Trend Vision's coming up. And it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to do the photos just to have like these cool collaborations with my photographer friend or my model friend and then if it enters, if it gets in, it gets in. But it's more just like a cool experience and a cool opportunity to collaborate with these people. So, what salon are you at? <laughs> right now, <laughs> for the plug, I'm at Station Salon in Encinitas. Um, I'm assisting there. I'm taking haircut models right now, like one length bobs, if anyone needs a one length bob. San Diego, okay. one length bob. Go to Rachel. <laughs> She's good. I've seen it. Thanks. I try. Cool. So, I my guess that's it. Unless you have anything else to say, I, I asked my questions. Yeah, those were good questions. I'm glad we got through it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, 